Since their original introduction in Terraria 1.2, it's always been debated which of the two true melee weapons are superior. Could it be the harder hitting but slower firing True Knight's Edge, or the lighter, more nimble True Excalibur? For the longest of time, the functionality of these weapons were very similar, putting both pretty close together. However, with the melee reworks made in Terraria 1.4.4, this has completely skewed the results, and according to most polls, drastically puts the True Knight's Edge on top. Today, we're going to be comparing these weapons and truly seeing the strengths and weaknesses of both of them. Before we do jump into it though, if you enjoy these weapon review videos, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to help support the channel. Righto, let's first see their obtainability. Despite the True Knight's Edge being obtainable slightly earlier than the True Excalibur, its crafting complexity is far more advanced, requiring you to of course get your hands on a regular Knight's Edge, which can be created on an altar by combining a blade of grass crafted with jungle materials, a Mora Massa from dungeon chests, a volcano made from hellstone, and finally, a Light Bane or Blood Butcherer crafted with evil bars. Once you've got this, for both blades, you'll need to defeat each of the three mech bosses, which although can be tricky for the melee class, can be made easier thanks to weapons like the Drippler Crippler existing. Once you've got plenty of each soul, you can finally craft your True Knight's Edge on an anvil. And when it comes to the True Excalibur, you really don't need to put much more work in, simply requiring you to craft a regular Excalibur with hollowed bars, then heading to your jungle to mine enough Chlorophyte for 24 bars. With this, you now have both swords in hand, so the question is, which one is better? Starting with the True Knight's Edge, unlike the True Excalibur, this sword does fire a projectile which deals 50% of the blade's damage. This means that if you're able to hit your target with both, you will deal more DPS than the Excalibur. However, interestingly, the range at which both swords full damage can be dealt is higher on the True Excalibur, meaning in close quarters, you're much better off with the Excalibur's a true melee type approach to dealing damage. However, against groups of targets, things do change up a bit, with the True Knight's Edge projectile only being able to strike a maximum of three times. When it comes to the True Excalibur, things are a little different, with seemingly an infinite amount of targets being hit as long as it's in the aura's range. This can result in some very impressive DPS, so with this in mind, how did they fare against the real deal? To be honest, I don't think much needs to be said here. The True Knight's Edge struggles with his line of mummies, while the True Excalibur just wipes them clean. It really does go to show how much of a big deal that max hit cap is. But hold on, as despite the Knight's Edge time to kill, even against this Biomimic, it's undeniable that the competitive advantage given is more range, making the Excalibur a far more risk versus reward type weapon. This you'd think would help the Knight's Edge against bosses. Well, surprisingly not as much as you'd think, as that projectile on its own just doesn't do even enough to be dangerous against a destroyer. But, I mean, who really cares? Because the only real thing you should be worrying about is how it does against Plantera. And, well, I am happy to say, I did actually prefer the True Knight's Edge to the True Excalibur in this fight in particular. From a damage perspective, the sword still definitely falls behind. However, its ability to hit a large, slow-moving target from a safe distance made the fight easy as pie. So what about past this point? Well, to be brutally honest, it's unlikely you wouldn't have upgraded to the Terror Blade by now. But just in case you haven't, the True Excalibur is definitely the better option against Golem, as for a mostly stationary boss, the Knight's Edge's projectiles really won't be utilized fully. Oh, and speaking of the Terror Blade, with Mothron showing up in your Solar Eclipses post Pantera, which are the two swords should you use to get your Broken Hero Sword? Well, in my experience, both swords went too great for this feat. But you know what? I will give another point to the Knight's Edge here, for at least having the range, although ridiculously hard to aim, to safely take out the Mothrons. And with that, you can finally get your beautiful Terror Blade to take you into the endgame. All in all, while both swords do definitely excel in different ways, if I could only have one, I'd definitely go for the Trick Excalibur, as its much higher damage output and crowd controlling abilities are a must have in mid hard mode. This has been Zorkatees, and I'll see you in the next one.